when you're ready to go and the fish say, no, no, don't go yet. I want to eat your meat. It is May 29, 2020. We are in the post spawn blues. It's a tough time of year to catch fish. So we're going to tackle these fish out here on a fairly famous body water, Lake Wallasee in Indiana. Lake Wallasee was once placed as one of the, was once ranked inside the top 100 lakes in Bassmaster Magazine. I don't think they had any business putting them in the top 100, but it was there. And uh, today, hopefully we find out why. There we go. So what I'm seeing here uh, along these pads, I've seen some uh, bluegills, bluegill beds, and I've seen uh, a couple bass cruising along the edges of them. And I'm convinced that these bass are out here along the edges and in the pads, because I've seen some bass move around in the pads, preying on bluegill beds. Oftentimes when bass finish spawning, the bluegill come in and spawn in the same areas. And bass will hang out the outside edges and prey on the bluegills. Big fish just become much more difficult to catch during the post spawn. I caught one quality fish today, and that was on a crankbait. Oh, we got a crankbait fish. beat up that's a post spawn fish for sure but he ate it exactly where you think you'd want to catch i wipe that off for you you can't see but there's a hole right here it, it's behind me it's about three foot deep we're sitting on seven foot of water and he was sitting right on the edge there and uh huh, that's how it's done just kind of casting parallel. Pass the casting parallel to it and uh, brought the crankbait through and he, he choked, ate it good. Nice fish. My man Greg Mangus is gonna love me for this. That's actually caught off one of his sea flash crankbaits. to figure out one pattern going on out here in this rain is that anywhere there's kind of like a contour change on this flat with some weeds along it these fish seem to be sitting up on the outside and they're eating this crankbait every fish I caught whether it's a crankbait tube Ned rig really came about six foot range on the outside edge of weeds I thought I'd get a lot of fish on the tube today, especially with this Canadian Mist Light by Extreme Bass Tackle. You can see some of the cabbage that the fish were hanging out in. That was good. That's a good weed out there on Lake Walvis Sea. This color is, is killer for me on Lake Walvis Sea and also some other clear water lakes in our area. There! Get in! Now I've caught a handful of fish now on this tube. And I haven't got a good one yet, but if these fish are cruising around the flats at all, and if you got sparse or scattered vegetation, a tube is really hard to beat. And I did catch some fish on this, especially early on, but I think the real reason it didn't, we didn't catch the main fish today on this tube, as it say did Ned Rig, was because of the, the conditions. Let's face it, the weather today stunk. Not only is it post spawn blues, we got throwing rain on top of it and a whole lot of it. Inside is a quarter ounce tube jig made by Bite Me Tackle with quality Gamagatsu hooks. Well, post spawn stuff, right? In the rain, what am I doing in the channels where the fish spawn? What I'm doing here is I'm looking for fry garters because males will often stick around in a channel to protect their fry. Especially if you have large channels, long channels, which this channel is. Those fish are much more prone, largemouth that is, the males to stick around. 
that's why I'm in here. The most productive bait today was definitely the Ned Rig. Again, it's a bite me tackle, Ned Head bait, or head I should say, but also what I got with it is a Yoder's Custom Rods a Ned Rig bait. He calls it a jawbreaker. Look at where the bait is. Look how deep. Perfect. Tells me this is what they want. My Ned baits are made by Bite Me Tackle. Not only are they a national product, but if you look in the description down below, there's a promo code to save you some money on any of their products. So a Ned rig works pretty much year round. And I will say I've made uh, six casts of this thing and I've had three bites. First one I didn't get on film, second one come unbuttoned. And I think color has something to do with it, to tell you the truth. I mean, I saw that, that Canadian mist tube, very light colored, and it's great color out here. But I saw a fish earlier spit up some crawdads while I was bringing them in. And I got this green pumpkin purple flake net rig. It's actually called Jawbreaker by Yoder's Custom Baits. And I thought the color mashed up with the, what they're eating a little bit better, plus the forecast. Darker conditions typically mean we should throw darker bait. So Mr. Nedley coming through! Ah, I gave you a headache. Not big fish, but when you're in a post spawn, your expectations got to go on a little bit in the sense that you, you typically don't catch the quality. The, your best five are going to be bigger during the pre spawn and spawn typically than. And the post spawn. So expectations are a little bit, but you still catch a lot of fish. The six foot depth has really seemed to be the magic depth today. I'm gonna show you approximately where I've caught every fish. Actually, anything along these edges, and I'm like saying six foot of depth, with weeds, I have found fish. Weeds are important? Yeah, I think they're hanging around the weeds. This really caught more fish. And I said earlier, I believe the color was matching, dark colors was matching what they're eating a little bit better than that too. When you're ready to go and the fish say no no don't go yet i want to eat your meat i love them too the numbers of fish really weren't the issue and a lot of times that is the case in post spawn it's the big ones that tend to become very scarce there was a tournament out here just last night my understanding is it only took eight pounds to win and a kudos to that team who won but what a what a terrible way what a pathetic way to win a tournament I will say that I probably had at least eight pounds today uh, out on the lake. I had a handful of keepers and just a one good quality fish. And really I came to us just running different spots, covering as much water as I can. Because in the post spawn, I, I tend to think that's what's important. You cover as much water as you can. Maybe you can find, scrape out a handful or even a dozen smaller fish or even small keepers in one area. But to find the bigger fish, I think you just gotta keep moving and moving and moving. Because I don't believe you're gonna find them grouped up very often this time of year. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, Hunter and Fish will see you on the water. Outside edge of it, through that crankbait, and caught him. Now I want that. Yeah. Yeah. Teddy, you've, uh, you've helped me win thousands of dollars over the years, so I, I, I'd give you a good way for that. I, I will say right now, I've last half hour about six or seven on Ned Rig.